Razor! Back now! Do not put the treasure of the mighty trap! Hey, Mom, it's Thrak. How are you? <laughs> hey, listen, do you and Dad still have those glowing mushrooms? Yeah, I was thinking of redecorating. Maybe the entrance, my bedroom. You know, a little new age flair. <laughs> oh, crap. Mom, I got an adventuring party. I, I gotta call you back. Love ya. Foolish adventurers, who dares to stand the mighty Thrak? You shall never have the treasure, nor see the light of day again! Have you been taking your medication, Benny? Well, let's see. I'm incorporeal. The pills you prescribe are solid. So, I'm gonna say... no. There's no need to be sarcastic. This is exactly what I'm talking about. I feel like nobody listens to me when I speak. Maybe if you spoke above a ghastly whisper. I'm a wraith. This is me yelling right now. I don't get louder, just higher pitched. It's frustrating. Ah, well I see right through your problem. If that was a crack about me being incorporeal, I'm leaving, Doc. I see you blaming a lot of your frustrations on the fact that you're incorporated. Incorporeal, and yes, that's the whole source of my problems. It's the source of all my frustrations. I can't interact with the world. I just float through things. I'm, I'm a hobbit living in a giant's castle. I'm, I'm a bard trapped in a barbarian's body. You know, we're living in a material world, and I'm an immaterial ghoul. I thought you were a wraith. I wish I were a ghoul. Then I could bite you. Do you want to bite people? Sometimes. Especially my roommate, Thrak. Ah, yes. The giant. Tell me more about Thrak. Is he still highly volatile and anxious toward you? First of all, he's a cyclops. And if he were here right now, he'd be very upset at you calling him a mere giant. But yes, he's anxious, loud, hordes over the treasure. But that's just Thrak being Thrak. He can't help that. Right. I'm going to prescribe some more antidepressants. Which I still can't take because my mouth doesn't work that way. Not for you, Benny. For your roommate, Thrak. Is Thrak a large person? Technically huge, but yes. Good. Then he'll need the extra large dosage. Why is that good? Because they're more expensive. I'm going to write this up and add it to your bill. Mm -hmm. No, Benny's been real difficult lately. I know, but he's been a real sour Sally. Well, hey, I mean, even wraiths get depressed. Do you want to meet up for lunch? I was going to go play bridge with the trolls after I got back from my errands. I got to update my coupon book, and then I got... Oh, crap, they're back. Oh, wait, hang on, Mom. Why do you all have bows? Come here, you little bastards! Do not snipe and camp the mighty frag! You're charging me to be your drug mule? You can't send me on a side quest! You're my therapist! You're supposed to help me! If I can't help you, at least I can help your roommate. You don't care about me? No, wait, don't answer that! You never cared! And I don't need you or your drugs! Now we're making progress, Benny. Don't take credit for my own revelation, you quack! If I didn't hate your face so much, I'd turn you into one of my zombie minions! But you do feel better, don't you? Goodbye, Dr. Schwarzenfeld! I'll see your soul writhe in shadowy agony! You forgot your pills! I had the worst day since yesterday, Benny. Oh my god. We had some PCs stop by, and they set me on fire! And then they ran away laughing! They didn't even get into the cave! That's nice. Business is bad, Benny! And the lease is up next month? If we don't meet our quota, the Red Dragon's gonna kick us out! I don't wanna be homeless! 
I keep telling you, Thrak, we need an NPC hook. Someone who's gonna go out in the world and tell everyone about the cave and... Hey, why is it so quiet around here? Are all the zombies dead? Again, more... You know what I mean. Oh, I sent them to Staples to make copies. <laughs> You realize they're never coming back, right? Zombies can't do complicated instructions. It's not complicated. I told George, go to Staples. Then I told John, make copies. Then I told Ringo, pay for copies. Then I told Paul, bring copies back to cave. Okay. Then maybe I will have that last talk with Dr. Schwartz and Farm. Thank you for calling Dungeon Dynasty Distributor, your one stop for all dungeon needs. How can I help you today? Hi! I want to return the club I ordered from you people! Sorry to hear that. How did your club not satisfy your smashing needs? Oh, it smashes just fine! It's just the spikes don't look good! The spikes? Uh, did you put them on yourself, ma'am? I'm not a lady! I'm a cyclops! A uh, cyclops lady. Let me check. Why did you put spikes in your club? Because I'm not going to be the only Cyclops without railroad spikes in his club. I'd look like an idiot. Have you ever thought of looking through our seasonal steampunk catalog? No, I'm pretty sure I can hot glue some gears and copper tubing myself, ass. The thing is, if you altered your club after purchase, then we can't refund it. But I just want to trade it in! You don't know how much drama there is at the cave! I got set on fire by an adventuring party, and the other day they cracked my TV, and they got close to the treasure, but it's the treasure! I'm sorry, sir, but I can't accept any item because you buckled under peer pressure. I got clobbered by a bunch of half-elves, and you're telling me you're not gonna help me? Do you have half-elf insurance? We have... Elf insurance? I'm sorry, but that policy only covers elves, not half-elves. They're the same damn thing! Why do you not cover the one thing I need coverage from? Too much drama! Hmm. I might have some gears lying around. Hey, Doc. <gasps> oh. Ah.